Hello, everyone. Today is Tuesday, November 12th, 2019, and this is the weekly meeting of Kubernetes SIG Docs. Uh, let's get this thing rolling. Uh, new contributors. Uh, David K. Hello. I do not think that we have met. Welcome. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I was on the call before last. Oh, OK. I changed my name from Mars. That was my uh, internet handle, so I'm, I'm, uh, I fixed that. So that's what that was about. Excellent. Well, welcome back. Thank you. This is not going to see what we talked about two meetings ago. Uh, we talked about uh, uh, th uh, th Java third microservices. Too, too. It was a demo on Kata yeah. Kata for microservices. Very good. Excellent. Uh, okay. This week's PR Wrangler is uh, Tim Fogarty, AKA T Fogo. Uh, and next week's PR Wrangler is Ryan McGinnis. Um, approvers, make sure you know your scheduled PR shifts, please. Hello, Brad Topol. Hey. Uh, so let's see, let's move to our actual agenda portion. Um, so I was looking at our, the sort of the health of our repo right now, and the number of pull requests looks very healthy um, going towards uh, 1.17. Uh, currently we have, where, let me go find that tab. I'm in tab hell. Um, 96 open PRs for English which is um, pretty standard about release time. Um, looks like uh, there were a whole bunch of release PR or 1.17 PRs opened just in the past week. Um, so uh, it looks like uh, things are pretty healthy in terms of how things are getting reviewed, how things are um, moving along. So, uh, that's a, a a cause to be to uh, be thankful, uh, and I am very thankful that our, our approvers uh, uh, keep the pipes keep the pipes clean and flowing. So hooray! Thank you, approvers. Uh, and I'm going to look at issues really quickly to see where we are at issue health, and specifically, uh, I'm looking for unlabeled issues. Oh, it's amazing! Uh, I'm going to share my screen really quick. Uh, so we have uh, 425 issues open in the repo right now, only 14 of which have not been triaged. Wow, so that's really good. That makes me very, very happy. Uh, yeah. I'd say those PR Wranglers are doing a heck of a job for the past couple of weeks. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, they are. Sorry. Is that your horn, Brad? May I toot it? Uh, my arm hurts from the <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Issue health also looks, looks good. Repo stats are healthy. Yay. All right. Um, I wanted to bring up two uh, items from last week. I apologize for the technical difficulties last week. Um, I don't know what happened. Uh, bless Zoom's little heart. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, I just, I wanted to raise for visibility. Um, so uh, we had, the, at our last quarterly meeting, we had discussed the idea that it would be nice if we could get, uh, the doxy template applied to the website, uh, but that we didn't have uh, the bandwidth in SIG to do that, um, but that if we could find a contractor to do it, uh, that sounded like contractor territory. Um, I have found a contractor who's uh, willing and able to, to uh, do it and get it done. Um, so uh, at the moment we're in contract hell. Uh, it's a very mild layer of hell, but uh, 
uh, just getting the the contracts all squared away uh, and so that the contractor can invoice and actually um, turn out the work. Um, I had hoped, my original hope had been that we would have uh, a Doxy demo uh, ready to smoke test uh, at KubeCon as part of Doc Sprints. I don't think we're going to be there. So uh, uh, Jim, Cody Crudgington and I are going to meet, I think, tomorrow evening uh, to finalize the list of sprint topics that we're going to run through at uh, KubeCon North America, which is less than a week away. How did that even happen? But uh, hopefully, yeah, I don't even know. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing as many folks there as possible. Um, a quick show of hands or uh, plus ones in chat. Uh, who will be at KubeCon next week? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hooray! Decent number. Savita, it will be so nice to meet you in person. Uh, can we double Hi. that up by asking how many are going to be a contributor summit? Oh, yeah. Uh, nice follow on. Uh, who, will, who will be at the uh, Contributor Summit Day on uh, Monday next week? I will be, but I'm flying in that morning due to some personal conflicts, so I'll, I'll probably get there around 11 a.m. Gotcha. Okay. Luke, you look iffy. Uh, so I'll be there too. Excellent. Great. Uh, okay. So let's see, um, in some of our PRs uh, lately, there has been uh, some frustration over how indentation uh, works uh, with Black Friday as, uh, as markup and uh, how to, how to uh, spoiler alert, it doesn't work that well. Um, so uh, there's been some talk about how to how to work around that uh, uh, particular formatting issue with Black Friday. Um, there was a, a particular PR opened that suggested um, inserting like a blank header uh, to uh, forcibly reset the indentation. Um, that's a kludge. It uh, fixes one thing by breaking another. And I would rather, uh, I would rather uh, have something broken because it's broken, not because we broke it. Um, so it, that also puts pressure on uh, upstream for uh, the Hugo project to switch its um, markdown parser. So I think we're, uh, there looks like there's some strong consensus emerging to move away from Black Friday and to uh, a flavor of markdown called gold mark. So, um, uh, the good news is that the particular flavor of indentation breaking that we're seeing will probably go away. The indeterminate bad news uh, is that with a new uh, markdown flavor, we will almost certainly see other things break in new and interesting ways. Um, it's the dance and we dance it. So uh, just wanted to surface for visibility that uh, that is something that may happen um, possibly before the end of the year, but um, almost certainly within the next six months. Uh, so um, no specific action required, just general, uh, general mindfulness for the, the, the purpose of sanity. Quick question. Yeah, yeah. So do you think the, the, the team that's switching the parser, the Hugo team, do you think they'll provide some information on what has changed and the right way to do things now with the new markdown? Are there, are there a good sort of, hey, here's how to go from the old markdown to the new markdown, or we're just kind of on our own to, 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 to learn that? I suspect that we will be a very valuable testing ground for exactly that information. Fantastic. And that will be our contribution. Uh, so the, wider, the wider community of Goldmark users is the way that everything broke when we used it. Uh, so that's also a valuable uh, contribution opportunity uh, upstream to the wider community. Was, was that diplomatic enough? That was fantastic. I mean, if you could have shot in a way to 
to, to also, you know, lay some blame on Cody, that would have been great too, but that was kind of bonus points. <laughs> I'm such a slacker. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so for uh, KubeCon, uh, let's see. Uh, already, as mentioned previously, um, Jim Angel, Cody Crutchington, and I are meeting, uh, not this week, well, it is this week, but even more specifically, tomorrow, Wednesday, to finalize sprint topics. Um, uh, this delightful bit. Um, hmm. So the PR Wrangler schedule through the end of the year is somewhat FUBAR um, due to uh, Google withdrawing the majority of its writers uh, from the approver pool. So, um, I would I would tell you how much that I love handling the PR Wrangler schedule, but I can barely get that out with a straight face. Uh, I don't love it. So um, it would be really amazing if someone else would be willing to take that on. It's a very small, discreet, limited task uh, that will take you through a very mild layer of hell. Uh, just the, the scenery is very boring. Um, I suspect no one's going to take that. Going to is, is, this, uh, is this for tomorrow? What, what, can you repeat the so, time frame you're asking for? Um, so the PR Wrangler schedule. Um, yeah. Let me look at the actual schedule. Uh, PR Wranglers. Let me paste this into the into chat. All right, um, here, let me, it's probably easier if I just share the screen. Okay, so uh, let's see, we're actually, we're good through the first week of December. Um, oh, it's not nearly as bad as I feared. Uh, we just need to find someone to fill December, the week of December 8th, uh, right. and then, uh, Brad, Brad will take January it. Um, I, I can take. I can take for sure. I could take both if you need me to. I mean, if that if that keeps me from having to manage the schedule by just shoving my name in it, <laughs> <laughs> deal. Just put me in. Uh, I'm pretty much All free right. after December fifth. So anytime anybody needs me in there, I can do that. Uh, cool. I, forgive me, I should know this, Cody, but it's not immediately coming to mind. Uh, are you an approver? No, I'm not. I mean, I got to go through that. But, uh, yeah, do you want to be an approver? <laughs> are you ready yeah, to be yeah, an approver? I'm, yeah, I mean, I don't mind. That's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the glowing enthusiasm we look for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, right. anything I can do to help. Uh, I mean, Cheers. seriously, Zach, I, I can cover those two okay. weeks. Um, cool. Well, why don't we do that and a hearty thank you, Brad. And uh, let's see. And then I feel a little bad that I'm coming a little late on contributor day and you guys are going to have to pick up more of the sprint because I don't get there till uh, 11. Something. So, so that all evens oh, you, out, you know? You, you, don't, you don't even want to know what I got going on for CS. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later. It's nuts. All right. Uh, That's actually a separate item. Uh, uh, so we got that, that problem solved, point. right? We got the yes, regular solved. Okay. Thank you. And that uh, that just that turns it into uh, at some point uh, we need to generate the schedule for like the first half of next year. Um, but uh, that can be post postponed till after KubeCon, which is uh, at the moment all that I care about. Um, so, uh, I also want to surface early, um, that at some point, uh, probably in like the first two weeks of December, it would be a really good idea to, um, uh, go through all of our owners, uh, owners files and owners sub aliases files to clean up, um, all of the cruft from our owners, uh, files and make sure that those permissions are accurate. 
um, there's a, a sort of a community push from uh, from Bob Kielan, aka Mr. Bobby Tables, uh, a month ago to to do that work. Um, I went through it. I like I did mine personally, but uh, it, I think it would be a good idea to just review that at the community level as well. And I'm happy to uh, to tap folks into that um, when we get to the the time for that actual work. Let's see. Everyone can play along. Smiley face. All right. Um, quarterly meeting. Uh, let's see. The quarterly meeting uh, will be meeting on Thursday this week from 5 to 8 p.m. Pacific. And we'll be reviewing uh, our goals from our last meeting, uh, which is back. Um, I want to say in March, believe it or not. Uh, so it's it's been a minute since we've had a review. Uh, we'll be reviewing uh, the goals that we set at that meeting and uh, setting our priorities uh, through the end of the year and through the first part of um, 2020, which blows my mind. Uh, and just for sake of ease, I'm going to look at the calendar really quick and get that URL for the Zoom meeting and post it there. All right, so that is the, uh, under the quarterly meeting agenda item, the URL for that meeting is there. Um, I sent out an invitation to the entire um, Kubernetes-SIG-DOCS uh, group, uh, the Google group, um, it just, is there anyone who didn't get the meeting invitation? Is there anyone who would like a meeting invitation? All right. Um, cool. Let's see. Uh, cap follow up. Um, it's on me to do this, and I sorry. Last week was nuts. Uh, so. I say I have to be really frank. I don't think I'm going to get to the cap this week, uh, just with everything going on um, before KubeCon. Uh, actually, that's not true. There's there's one thing I can specifically do. Um, so the specific policy uh, right now, I think we're not getting a lot of traction on that cap because um, we're not giving people specific policy points. So I think the thing that to to do is to point to um, the PR. Uh, that introduced specific policies into our guidelines and say which of these is objectionable to you uh, and uh, at least get something concrete in the books and moving forward. So I will do that today. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, Zach, I did read it and, and did a quick review, although I didn't make any review comments. Um, it seemed like it would really benefit from what you're saying, making it a little more concrete and then I think a little bit of divide and conquer cutting it into pieces, I think, I think it was just so big and covered so much area, people are going to bike shed us to death, right? That, that was my fear, that we ought to try and yeah. just little, little pieces, keep them focused. That would be a great first one to start with. Yep. Introduced in content guidelines. Today, 11... Oh, okay. And Brad, you make an excellent point. Beware bike shedding. Uh, okay. Um, that is the end of um, today's very scattered agenda. Uh, what would folks like to talk about in the time we have left? Caitlin, anything from the blog side? Sorry, I lost my Zoom window to unmute. Um, well, we have a meeting right after this, so if anyone's interested in joining. Um, we are seeing, interestingly enough, we are seeing a really big influx in um, both cross posts, which for the Kubernetes blog, we ask for original content. 
um, and more vendor influenced content. So um, I'm curious to, to follow the KEP as we start talking more about the third party content. Excellent. Um, cool. If there's anything, uh, if there's anything specific that you need, Keelan, um, please reach out. Uh, we're all happy to help. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Um, Cody would love to talk about Death Stranding. I would love to talk about Death Stranding. It's a PS4 game that uh, came out this last weekend. Uh, I, I, I don't think that's a, a happy to talk about it after the meeting ends. Is that <laughs> uh, okay? Uh, I got a question. Is is there a meeting yeah. point for KubeCon? Is it Monday, or is there anything else during the week? Uh, so Monday is our big meetup day uh, at the Contributor Summit. Is the day that we all uh, that we all get together. And if I can find. Let's see, KubeCon 2019 schedule. Uh, we are in, I can tell you this, we are in Pacific Ballroom 23 all day. Excellent. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, I, I see that, we, okay, so just so everyone knows, there we could use some floaters. It looks like Bob K and the Noahs are gonna float between, uh, people for the doc sprint brad i don't know what your schedule looks like but if you want to you said you aren't getting into like 11 or something so if you want to also do that there's a couple red blocks uh that haven't been claimed by anyone uh, specifically there's a 12 to 1225 where there's a gap what are the floaters doing i, I mean the, we haven't really defined that either Okay. I mean, yeah, my flight gets in at 1030. I don't know how far it is to from the airport to the conference center, but I'm going to head straight to you all. So, okay. Do you want me to put your name here? I, I'm I can, uh, sure. I can, I can share my screen to kind of show you what it's looking like. If you like, I mean, uh, as long as my flight's not delayed and traffic, I'm sure I'm, I'm, it might be a little tight. <laughs> But yeah, I, no, I no worries. That. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put a question mark by it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Hmm. Okay. Uh. All right. Uh. Anything else? Right, last call. All right, that's the SIG meeting. Thanks. Thanks everyone. Have a good week, see you next week. Bye.